Well, hello there. Welcome back to my channel. This is Medea J, and in today's video, we're going to be testing out the new Morphe Hydrating Tinted Moisturizers. These are called Glow Stunner. I've got three shades to test out. Thanks to Morphe, they sent this over. So if you're interested in hearing my first impression, definitely keep on watching. Um, I will use these, um, I will use this foundation throughout the week. And depending on when this video goes out, I might be able to give you guys my final thoughts at the end of the video. If not, it will be in the description box. But yeah, if you're interested in hearing my first impression and for us to actually test which shade works, then please keep on watching. Remember to subscribe. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers and thank you so much to you guys that constantly watch me. I appreciate you. Let's jump right in. Okay. <laughs> so let's quickly see what Morphe says about this um, tinted moisturizers and then we get into opening the boxes and testing them out. So this is called the um, Glow Stunner Tinted Moisturizer. It does have SPF 30, so already that wins my heart. SPF is good for a sunscreen basically and it's good for your skin anything higher than 30 is great 50 is the best But anything higher than 30 is brilliant. So having SPF in it is brilliant Um, it does say that it comes in 15 tints, which means 15 shades um, It's a lightweight formula hydrating um, natural looking non-greasy finish sheer and buildable which are keywords for me it's got uh, multiple undertones there so on the website it's actually split into light medium tan rich and deep which is great for the undertones non-comodogenic great for all skins free of oils fragrance and parabens infused with vitamin e and citric acid um glycerin it's got glycerin it's got hyaluronic acid which is great for hydration um it's got lactic acid it's a powerful aha for a brighter looking more even complexion and those are the main things so this is 30 ml of product and it retails for 18 pounds and the shades they've sent me i believe are the shades under the deep category so i've got deep glow 14 i've got deep glow 14 i've got deep glow 13 and deep glow 15 so they basically sent me the three shades that are under the deep category on their website so let's get into what the packaging looks like there's nothing different on the actual box so the packaging comes in a tube bottle like this very very nice matte texture and you've got the shade name on there and it says exactly what i've said so share buildable coverage it's got a list of ingredients and how much percentage it's made in the usa um and it just says hydrating tinted moisturizer glow stunner i do like the packaging before we carry on i decided to record with my phone because i feel like you guys will be able to see the color a little bit better through a mobile phone rather than um, a digital camera let me know what you guys think but anyway as i said they sent over the the darkest three shades i almost feel like rich like the darkest shade in rich would have been better for me but the proof is in the testing so the first one is deep glow 13 so let's give it a little shake because i know some of them split sometimes so let's give this one a shake so Deep Glow 13 is described as deep with neutral golden undertone. So I am going to swatch it on my face. So neutral undertone. I don't particularly like neutral undertone foundations, but so that's Deep Glow 13. And then the next one is deep glow 14 which is deep with natural oh deep with neutral undertones i'm trying to multitask clearly not working deep with neutral undertones so let's see it does pump out really nicely this one is darker definitely definitely too dark for me but someone will find that useful and then the last one, which is the deeper shade, is Deep Glow 15. Deepest with neutral undertone. Deepest. 
So it's gonna be hella dark. Are you ready for this? Yup. Deep Glow 13, Deep Glow 14, Deep Glow 15, which is the darkest shade. So already I can tell you, obviously Deep Glow 13 is my best bet, but I almost feel like the Tan 12, which is not Tan, sorry, Rich, Rich, Rich Glow 12 is described as rich with neutral golden undertones. I almost feel like that would have been my my shade like my perfect match but we're gonna try deep glow 13 and see how we get on so i'm gonna go ahead and apply my um primer and i'm gonna use a pore filling primer just so that i can really see the finish of this without it seeping into my pores but yeah i do like the consistency it's very rich and it feels really cooling on the skin as well which is bizarre <laughs> so yeah be right back all right so my primer's on and i use the elf putty primer so i do have a video testing this product and the putty bronzers as well which i will link in the description box so i've got this on and i'm letting it sit for like a minute to yeah for like a minute and then i'm going to go ahead and use the tinted moisturizer that we settled on which is deep glow 13 um on the morphe website it recommends that you can apply the product with a sponge and they recommended the complexion blending sponge which you guys know i purchased when i tried the um soft focus foundation so i have that but i'm not going to be using it i find that sponges probably not this one but normal sponges just soak up tinted moisturizers but i guess the material of this um sponge won't allow that product to get soaked up but i prefer to use a brush so they say if you want more like a sheer type of finish to use the sponge but if you want more like a, a fuller coverage to use a brush so like a flat flat buffer brush um to apply so or you can you can use your fingers and go but i'm not going to use my fingers i've got nails foundation will get under there so we are going to be using a brush to apply instead of a sponge but you can use a sponge i want a full coverage so we're going to use a brush <laughs> tinted moisturizers don't have a lot of coverage to them they're supposed to be sheer maybe it's the color maybe it's the shade i don't know but i just feel like i'm applying tan <laughs> like if i wanted to tan like that's i feel like that's all i'm applying it should have a tiny little bit of coverage at least a little bit of coverage i think so i am going to apply a little bit more because look all of that is still showing quite vividly actually um so we're gonna see if we can do something about that ideally with tinted moisturizers only because i'm testing it out for you guys but with the tinted moisturizers when i use them during the week i color correct i conceal my imperfections before going in with it because i do like just a little bit of coverage you know just some spots to be covered but I think applying a little bit on there just it kind of covered it a little bit so suggest that the buildable coverage is real you can build it but it will take you forever to build it into like a full coverage and you practically use all of your products so I would recommend not only this product but any tinted moisturizer to use a concealer to color correct or use a concealer to conceal your imperfections before using um the product let's get the neck okay 
other than that my skin does look hydrated feels really really cool it looks like it's glowing like all of this area is glowing beautifully you can see the glow so i do like the coverage like the the look of it i just wish it had a little bit more coverage to it without me having to really really build but it did say that so i i can't complain <laughs> It did say it's share, but if you wanted to build it, you can build it up. It just means that you're going to have to apply quite a considerable amount of product. So, right, let me go ahead, do what I do, my bronzer, eyeshadow, all of that good stuff. See how it holds up and I'll come back to you guys with my thoughts for now and see. Okay. Right, you guys, we are back. Face is on. I do have a video talking about this bronzer, products on my lips and everything. So definitely check out the description box for the link to that video. So let's get right into my thoughts about the Glow Stunner. Now, let's start from the packaging. I like the packaging. I love how easy it is. I love that it, it is a pump applicator. It makes it easy to actually use the products. Um, I love that it, it's a matte tube finish. I love that the names are on it, that it tells you exactly what it is, which is a sheer buildable coverage product. Now, in terms of the shade range, I feel like 15 tints is a little bit of a push. I think they should actually um, release more shades. The darkest shade is pretty dark, but I do want to believe that there are people, definitely people darker than this dark shade. So it would be nice for them to extend it in that way, but I also want them to extend it in terms of the undertones. Like the one that I use is very neutral. I would like more of like a yellow based undertone, cool based undertone, um, cause that's what I prefer to wear. A neutral based undertone, I'm really relying on my bronzers and my powders to really give me the like warmth, like the yellow warmth that I'm looking for. So I think a, an extension in terms of the undertones would be great. They've got it down to tan, light, deep, rich, and all of that. Now we need to get into cool, neutral, um, reddish undertone, warm undertone. Like we need to get there. So, um, cause most of their products are really neutral. Other than that, I think this is a really, really good tinted moisturizer. It's actually one of the better ones that I've tried because the color looks really nice on my skin. Though to me, it looks a little bit dark with everything. It just worked out really nicely and it blended into the skin really, really nicely. And it is buildable. So I do give it that. You will need to build it quite a bit if you want a full coverage um, finish. But then why would you use the tinted moisturizer for a full coverage finish anyway? You would go and get a full coverage foundation. So it does tick the box. Um, For me to use this and really enjoy using it, I would probably conceal my imperfections first. But it did do a good job with concealing that. So I think using the concealer will further give it um, a little bit more support. But all in all, this is one of the better tinted moisturizers that I've tried. I actually really do like the feel of it. I love the hydrating properties of it. I love the way it blended into the skin. I love the way it worked with my cream products, with my powders, with my primer. I think it sat really, really nicely on the skin. So time will tell. As I said, I will try this throughout the week and hopefully be able to either update you guys via video or update you in the description box. But so far, the first impression, I do like this product and I do recommend it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that demo and first impression of this um, tinted moisturizer from, from Morphe. Let me know your thoughts. You have to give it kudos and props for having SPF in it and it not having a cast because a lot of products that have got SPF tend to have a little bit of a cast in them. But this one has SPF 30. So that, you know, sunscreen tick box is done for you so i do have to give it props for that and i think that the price is quite decent for the moisture like for the amount of product that you get you would only need a little bit if you were going for like a subtle sheer finish it's only if you're trying to build it up that you'd quite you'd use quite a considerable amount but yeah 
that's it you guys so let me know your thoughts in the comment section about this look what do you think about the entire glow and what do you think about this product is it one that you're gonna pick up are you intrigued by it are there any other tinted moisturizers that you guys are seeing and want to try out there's one from Laura Mercier that I do have in my collection that I haven't tested so we will be testing that very soon but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, gather the like ugly, be nice to someone today. Black lives will always matter. And I will catch you guys in a future video. All the information that you need is in the description box. And I also have a discount code for Morphe. Glam Fam 553 will get you guys some money off your shop. So just make sure that you use that. It isn't an affiliate code or anything. You will just get some money off your shop on Morphe. But yeah, I'll catch you guys soon. Take care and bye. <laughs>